Have you ever wondered how one of the most consumed fish in the world is raised, processed, and shipped to your plate with such consistency, quality, and scale? Welcome to Next Harvest Network, the place where agriculture meets innovation. Today, we're diving deep, not into water, but into the world of tilapia farming in China, a system so efficient, so advanced, and so massive, it's become a global model of agricultural technology in action. Let's begin where it all starts, the water. Across China, from Guangdong to Hainan province, massive water bodies are dotted with floating cages and carefully managed ponds. But these aren't your average fish ponds. They are high-tech ecosystems, meticulously controlled, constantly monitored, and optimized for peak performance. Every tilapia you see swimming is part of a finely tuned operation powered by modern aquaculture technology. Farmers use automated water quality sensors that track everything from pH to ammonia levels, temperature, turbidity, and dissolved oxygen, all in real time. If the oxygen levels drop, aerators kick in automatically. If the water temperature fluctuates, alerts are sent instantly to farm managers' smartphones. It's farming at the speed of data. Next comes breeding, a highly regulated process. Breeding tilapia requires precise genetics and perfect environmental conditions. In China, hatcheries operate like clean rooms. Using UV sterilized water, hormone-free breeding methods, and temperature-controlled tanks to ensure that only healthy, fast-growing fingerlings make it to grow out farms. From hatchery to grow out, these young fish are transferred into ponds, cages, or recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS, depending on the scale and location of the farm. Let's break those systems down. Earthen ponds are the most traditional and still widely used, thanks to China's favorable climate and abundant land. Floating cage systems are used in lakes and reservoirs, ideal for large-scale production while conserving land. RS, recirculating aquaculture systems, represent the most high-tech end of tilapia farming. These indoor, closed-loop systems recycle up to 99% of the water, making them perfect for areas where water is scarce or environmental impact must be minimized. Once the tilapia are in their grow-out phase, feeding becomes the next priority. And again, technology steps in. Gone are the days of hand-feeding fish with guesswork. Today, farms use automated smart feeders, machines that release precise amounts of feed based on fish size, appetite, and time of day. Some even use underwater cameras and AI to detect fish behavior and adjust feeding patterns automatically. This not only ensures optimal growth, but also reduces feed waste, which, as many know, is one of the biggest costs in aquaculture. Now fast forward a few months. The fish have reached market size. So what happens next? Harvesting and processing. The fish are carefully netted and transported to nearby processing plants. And this is where Chinese tilapia farming becomes truly world-class. Inside the plant, the process is fast, clean, and highly automated. Fish are stunned using humane methods, scaled, gutted, and filleted with precision machines. Conveyor belts move at high speeds, and workers, trained in hygiene and efficiency, inspect, trim, and sort each fillet. But it's not just about speed. It's about quality and food safety. Each processing facility adheres to global food safety certifications like HIKCP, ISO, and BRC. The fillets are flash frozen immediately after packaging, locking in freshness and extending shelf life. Whether they're headed to a local Chinese market or to supermarket freezers in Europe, Africa, or the United States, each box is barcoded and tracked from pond to port. And that's not all. Waste from the fish, heads, bones, and offcuts isn't discarded. It's turned into fish meal, biofertilizers, or collagen products. This approach of zero waste circular aquaculture adds economic value while protecting the environment. Let's talk numbers for a moment. China's tilapia production exceeds 3 million metric tons every year, the largest in the world. It creates millions of jobs, supports entire communities, and earns the country billions in export revenue. From smallholder farmers managing a few ponds, to large corporations operating hundreds of hectares under RAS systems. This industry is a masterclass in how agriculture technology scales food production sustainably. And the future? It's even more exciting. China is already investing in genetic research for disease-resistant tilapia, blockchain for supply chain transparency, and AI-powered predictive tools to optimize every part of the farming cycle. With climate change, rising global protein demand, and growing population pressures, innovations like these are no longer optional. They are the foundation of global food security. So the next time you enjoy a tilapia fillet, 
whether in a restaurant or from your local store, remember the incredible network of people, machines, and systems that brought it to you. A journey of smart farming, clean water, and cutting-edge tech that began in the heart of China's aquaculture sector. Thanks for tuning in to Next Harvest Network, your home for stories that showcase the power of agriculture, science, and innovation working together. If you found this video insightful, do us a favor. Like this video, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We've got more journeys lined up, from vertical shrimp farms in Indonesia to AI-powered crop monitoring in Brazil. Because the future of food is already here, and at Next Harvest Network, we're here to show it to you, one story at a time. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay inspired.